morning and we have a lot to do before we open our doors to the guests to get our habitat ready. But first things first, we gotta say good morning to the birds. Good morning, birdies. Did you hear that? Sometimes a few of them will call back to a voice they recognize, but that's really cool because they don't do that for everyone that they don't know. I love that. Good morning. <laughs> so cool. So each morning, what we really need to focus on before the aquarium opens its doors is getting our habitat ready for our guests. That means a lot of cleaning. We have 32 penguins here in our colony. Now fun fact for you, each penguin can go to the bathroom up to eight times an hour. So over the course of the entire night from when we left yesterday to when we come in this morning, that means we can have over 3,000 penguin deposits here on our beach. So we gotta hose it all down, disinfect it, and get down on our hands and knees and get right in there and scrub it all to make the habitat nice and clean. penguins here at the aquarium every day two to three times a day and they do get hand-fed restaurant quality sustainably caught seafood but the reason we hand feed them is mainly so that we can keep track of how much each penguin is eating every single day and making sure that they're getting an appropriate diet it's often our first line of defense in monitoring their overall health care. Just like you or I, if I'm not feeling well, my appetite changes, and the same can be true of a penguin. So by hand feeding them and monitoring what they eat, it gives us a really great glimpse into their overall health. Dishes, so we have to wash all their dishes for them just like you wash your dishes after mealtime in your house So we have to scrub all their buckets and containers and we also clean down the entire sink after that fish preparation process So there's a lot of scales and everything left behind from those fish So we really got to put a lot of elbow grease into it and get those all off and get it nice and clean My job is making sure that we train all of our penguins here at the aquarium every day and the main thing we train them for is to voluntarily participate in their home health care basically we don't want our animals here at the aquarium to be afraid of a visit from their doctor some things that may seem really simple to you because you understand what they are could be quite frightening for a penguin if we don't train them first. So we get our penguins used to showing us different parts of their body for their exams. Or getting used to seeing different objects they would see during exam, like a stethoscope being placed on them to listen to their heart and lungs. Stepping up onto a scale so that we can weigh them, or even a flashlight shining in their eye for an eye exam. By practicing these things every single day, it helps make them really comfortable and just part of their normal daily routine so the next time their veterinarian needs to come give them a checkup, they stay nice and relaxed and calm and they choose to show us all those different parts of their body and do those behaviors. And afterwards, they get a nice big reward. Sometimes it's fish, sometimes it might be a little scratch or even their favorite toy. So of course, one of the best parts of my job every single day is getting to spend all the time with the animals in our care. 
A lot of people don't realize we do develop really strong relationships uh, with many of the animals that we take care of every single day. And some of these animals, like Blue Gray here, I have worked with since the day that she hatched out of the egg. So I've been with her her entire life. So that's many, many years of building a trusting relationship, working together, and also working on all of her training. And building that trusting bond is probably one of the most important things I can do every single day. And sometimes that just means coming out here and sitting out on the beach and interacting with the birds or holding them in my lap. I know it looks like really hard work, but it actually is really important. <laughs> Radiographs or x-rays are another great tool that we have to be able to evaluate our animal's overall health. Taking an image or picture of what's going on inside the body of an animal can give you really great information about what's going on with them, especially looking at their bones and their joints. Typically, when you would have to do a radiograph on an animal, you would have to use anesthesia to put the animal to sleep for a little bit so that you could get a really great still picture of what's going on inside their body. But we're working with all 32 of our African penguins to behaviorally train them to lay down, stay still, and even extend their feet out behind them for these radiographs, allowing our veterinarians to get a great image of what's going on internally. And I can say that we've successfully been able to train and get some really great images of numerous of our penguins here in our colony. at the aquarium, we provide them with what's called enrichment, which is really anything that we can do to break up their day, as well as mentally and physically stimulate them. We really try to focus on stimulating their five different senses. So sometimes we give them new things to hear, new things to see, touch, taste, smell. dress up here at the aquarium and we even have some fun enrichment that some of our kids in our camps made for our penguins to help be part of the enrichment program and we have these fun shiny reflective jewel boards. And then at the end of the night the sun sets everyone starts to go to sleep and we say good night. Good night, birdies. Good night, birdie birds. <laughs> so cool.